Hi everybody, back again with another video. This time I'm going to show you the only two Captain Americas that I've got left in my collection. Um, I have had others in the past, but I've sold them on. On the left here, you can see the Captain America Stealth Strike Suit version from the Winter Soldier movie. And on the left, the newest figure that's just been released. This is the Captain America from the Age of Ultron movie. So as usual, I'll give you a look at the figures up and down, uh, individually. I'll go over a few of the accessories. And that'll be about it. So first of all, we have the Stealth Strike Suit version. Fantastic looking figure. Awesome looking suit. And over here, we have the newest figure released. This is from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. Suit is more reminiscent of the um, Captain America suit from the original movie. With a few tweaks here and there. But it's based around that sort of look. So before I move on to the actual figures themselves, um, go over the accessories. I haven't got the accessories out for this guy, uh, but I've got them out for the Age of Ultron figure. Uh, they're new enough the same. Um, with the Strike Stealth Suit version, all you get really are spare hands, different types of hands, and um, a magnetised sort of handcuff that come with it. But with the Age of Ultron Captain America, you get these. They are similar sculpts to the Strike Suit version. Uh, the main difference is with this hand, it's magnetised for the shield. And you've got a fisted hand. Same again on the other side. Another hand for grasping the shield. And you've got the magnetised uh, left hand. The magnet is just in here, behind that pad, and the hand that's used for probably throwing the shield or just grasping it. Get your normal hand pegs. You also get this mask that's been taken off. Really nice detailing. Um, the chin strap on this mask, though, is slightly darker than what you actually get on the figure. It might be a bit difficult to pick out but there is a slight difference in the colour. But yeah, nice little addition to the figure. And you also get the Steve Rogers head sculpt with the Age of Ultron figure. You don't get this with the Strike Stealth suit because if you bought the strike cell, blah, 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 the stealth strike suit version in the box set, you would have got the Steve Rogers figure as well. And I think the head sculpt is almost exactly the same as the one you get with that. It's a nice looking head sculpt. Great paint apps on it. Um, I'm going to be buying um, a Steve Rogers. I only really originally bought just a single figure on his own. I didn't get the box set. Um, in hindsight, I wish I'd done that now, um, so I've got to go out and find a Steve Rogers because there's a little project that I'm working on. But yeah, there's the head sculpt. So what I'll do now is put a pause in and when we come back we'll take a closer look at the Stealth Strike Suit version. Okay, here we have Cap in all his glory. Um, the reason I bought this figure is I just love this suit. It is a fantastic looking suit. It's different from all the others. I didn't get the um, Captain America figure from the Winter Soldier. This is the only one that I got. The only problem with this figure though is the articulation. Um, basically you can't do anything with it. If you want to um, pose him up 
you've got to do some mods or you've got to take the suit off and there's a little undersuit underneath this you've got to take all that out and then put this suit back on to give yourself a bit better articulation um, if you want to see how to do that check out the reviewer king's channel because he has actually done that nice head sculpt the thing that's wrong with it though is this strap should be dark brown it should be the same color as these not light brown so i'm not sure why hot toys did it that way a lot of people who've got this figure have painted it themselves but it's got a leather feel sort of belt to it great paneling on the clothing and the clothing on this is very similar to the Captain America in the background there really nice looking boots sort of weathered effect as well great looking shield as well different from the other shield that you can see in the background and it's just clipped onto his back I haven't put it in his hand, as I say, because of the posability, it just doesn't look right. Um, so that's why this one's got it on his back. But you can see he's got his Rogers emblem, name tag. He's got the normal generic Hot Toys stand. Um, the legs aren't too bad for posing, I say it's just the upper part the arms and the, the body really but it is a really nice figure to have if you're not too bothered about the posing you just want to have him standing statuesque like I've got him um, then it's worth getting so this is just a quick video looking over the figures so you can see the differences between the two so what I'll do is I'll put another pause in here and when we come back We'll have the ultimate Captain America, in my view anyway, on view. Okay, here we have the Captain America from the Age of Ultron movie. Now this, in my opinion, and I've had all the Captain Americas that have been released, this is the best Captain America that Hot Toys have produced. The Captain America from the Avengers movie wasn't too bad, but this one just looks so much better. He's a little bit more beefed out than some of the others. The articulation on this figure is has been improved from this one. You can move the arms a lot more. And the, the added new feature on this figure is the shield. It's magnetised down here and up here and you've got magnets in the back of the gloves and on his arm this hand here isn't a magnetized hand though I found that with the magnetized hand it's really tight you can't get it in here and it with that hand on this part doesn't touch the arm um, so that's why I'm just using this normal hand here for it you're not going to see it anyway because it's hidden behind the shield which is the classic Captain America shield that he's had before it is metal uh, the magnets are quite strong as well so they do hold it quite nicely as you can see it is a similar suit design to the stealth suit in the background but it's more how you'd expect Captain America to be You can put the shield on his back as well. There's magnets in here to hold the shield on his back. And it fits on there perfectly. But I just love the design of this suit. They've got the colour just about right as well. Um, it be interesting to see what modifications they do for the next Captain America movie. Which I believe is rumoured to have the Hulk in it as well. And Hawkeye. So stay tuned for that, probably in a 18 months time or so. Head sculpt is brilliant. Does look like him. And obviously this figure comes with the different base. 
This is the base that comes with all the Avengers um, Age of Ultron movie figures. Not a bad looking base. It holds the figure well. But yeah, this really is... can't emphasise just how good this figure really is. <clears throat> okay, the articulation isn't perfect, but it's a big improvement on, the, say, on the Strike Stealth suit. A few little scrapes on the headpiece as well, to make it look like he's been in a fight. Um, it would have been nice if they maybe included um, a battle damage shield with this figure as well, like they did with this guy. But yeah, there you go, just sort of brief look around these two figures. There's so many videos out there on these guys, which is why I don't want to bore you with the same thing that you've heard time and time again. So I'll put a pause in now, and we'll have a look at the two figures side by side yet again. So you can see the real differences between the two. Okay, I'll try to put them in a similar sort of pose. But as you can see from the suit, especially from the legs down, sort of similar sort of style, but this one's got like... Um, patchwork down the leg whereas this one's got like plasticky parts built into the suit still both got the knee pads slightly different design and obviously the boots are completely different but it's the same sort of look you could probably if you really wanted to take the suit off this one and put it on this one and vice versa I wouldn't advise it but you could, could do that if you really wanted to, but why would you? Shields exactly the same size. Um, the height wise are exactly the same. We have two brilliant looking figures. But as I said, if you haven't got a Captain America um, and you don't know which one to go for, I would definitely go for this one. Far superior. And of course it is the most modern version of him. I'll spin them round so you can have a look at the back side, side by side. Take the shield off so you can see the back. There you go, similar design again, just coloration's a bit different. And this one's got there's a little clip that you put on the back. And obviously, this shield doesn't have it because it's all magnets. But it is a nice looking shield. Again, this is metal. If you want it in his hands you've got to put his hands through here but be careful because they could break round here so be careful when doing it but as you can see the head sculpts same paint apps are the same you've got the little bit of hair coming down the back and the same on this one you've got the same scuff mark on the top as well so essentially it is the same figure with just a different suit on it You notice with the pants as well, the pockets bulge out a little bit more on this one than they do with this one. But yeah, two brilliant figures. I'll uh, put a pause in, turn around, take one final look over the two guys, and that'll be it for me. And here they are, both on the turntable. Be careful here, I'm hoping they won't fall off. I will have to put this on a flat surface at some point so I can get better views. But yeah, there's the two Captain Americas, the two best. 
in my opinion. Other people probably disagree with that. Okay, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.